Hi, my name is Elia Sigele. I am managing the sales engineering team in Ribbon in the German-speaking countries and Nordics. In this video, I'm going to talk about FRMCS. Future Railway Mobile Communication System, FRMCS, is a secure and reliable mobile communication system for railway operations and applications. It is being specified by the International Union of Railways, UIC, and it is the agreed evolution path for enabling rail transport digitalization and automation, while ensuring continued rail safety, efficiency, and interoperability. Its predecessor, GSMR, was standardized in the year 2000 and has been the cornerstone of railway communication for more than two decades. GSMR today covers over 250,000 kilometers of track worldwide. However, the UIC has recognized that with rail modernization, GSMR lacks the capability and ability for modern rail applications. Additionally, relying on GSMR's 2G radio technology will present increasing challenges in the future. This is where FRMCS comes into play. The next generation rail communications network, FRMCS, aims to support the new digital application and services required for rail modernization, ensure cross-border interoperability, and adhere to stringent safety regulations. So what is FRMCS? FRMCS is based on 3GPP's 5G standard using mission critical specifications over a frequency spectrum specifically allocated for railways. It requires a 5G standalone architecture supporting mission critical voice, data, video, location, based services and roaming. The evolution to FRMCS will take a phased approach with FRMCS being introduced to run in parallel with GSMR. This allows rail operators to implement the FRMCS in phases for easy migration. The goal is to have the network fully transitioned to FRMCS before GSMR becomes obsolete in 2030. The FRMCS architecture is structured into three strata, Railway Application Stratum, Service Stratum, and Transport Stratum. Here we are illustrating the simplified user plane connection through the strata enabling the connections between applications. At the base of it, the Transport Stratum serves as communication fabric which compromise of a full end-to-end -end 5G network, including end devices and authorized users, the radio access network, or the RAN, the IP optical transport network, and the 5G core. I'd like to highlight that the IP and optical network acts as a transport layer between RAN and 5G core components. The 5G core is access agnostic, meaning it can support both wireless and wireless access. Therefore, the IP and optical network connects 5G components that are not part of the RAN and which may be distributed throughout the railway network. Now we talk about the essential IP optical network requirements for FRMCS. FRMCS needs 5G compliant IP optical X hole. It needs right fit form factors for cell site routers, hub sites, aggregation sites, and core sites. It needs seamless IP and optical integration with coherent routing combined with optical line systems or OLS and optical transport networks or OTN as required. The network must support services delivered by multiple access networks, transporting them to meet their service performance needs. It needs the support for network slicing with both hard and soft slicing options to segregate services as necessary, supporting IT OT convergence and providing multi tenancy required for utelcos. To meet 5G timing and synchronization, 
FRMCS also needs advanced synchronization and GNSS receivers. FRMCS needs mission-critical IP optical transport. After all, the railway is a critical infrastructure. The IP optical network must provide high availability hardware form factors where necessary. It must support high availability IP and optical topologies and protection schemes like one plus one line protection at the optical layer and multi-home networking at the packet layer. Also, railway must be a highly secured network with options like encryption at the optical layer and MACSEC at the packet layer. FRMCS needs end-to-end multi-layer IP optical automation. This means full-service lifecycle support for design, installation, configuration, test and commissioning, and network optimization. It needs zero-touch provisioning and automation capabilities. It needs analytics and reporting tools for things like power consumption, temperature, network inventory, to name a few. And lastly, FRMCS needs multi-tenancy administration for network slices. Why Ribbon IP Optical Solution for FRMCS? Ribbon has proven 5G X-hole deployments. Ribbon provides multiple form factors, advanced synchronization, multiple architectures, and network slicing. Ribbon is a leader of IP optical transport in critical infrastructures. Our multi-stack MPLS supports deterministic packet transport using SRMPLS, IP MPLS, and or MPLSTP as appropriate. We support high availability with hardware redundancy options and support for topology redundancy at both IP and optical layers. And lastly, Ribbon's Muse SDN application suite provides automated multi-layer IP and optical lifecycle management. FRMCS is set to revolutionize the railway industry. By leveraging 5G technology, FRMCS will support increased passenger numbers and freight density, improve operational efficiency, enhance safety, and provide new services. However, the success of FRMCS depends on its ability to meet the mission-critical needs of the rail industry, and this requires a robust IP optical transport network. Ribbon Communications combines its extensive 5G x hole technology, market-leading mission-critical IP optical solutions, advanced IP optical automation tools, and expertise in modernizing radio and mission-critical networks to provide rail operators with a solution they can trust. Thank you for listening and contact Ribbon Communications for more information.